Good morning, everybody. It is March 20th, and here's the plan of attack. First time here, this is basically my plan on how I'm looking to trade zero days to expiration SPX options and ES futures. And um, I would say <laughs> kind of a crazy day or crazy overnight action in the market as a uh, last night, watch the ES rallied almost three quarters of a percent and then about three o'clock this morning I looked at the market and it was down almost one percent and here we are almost back to flat <laughs> volatility is here yeah you know, but you don't need me to tell you that it's pretty obvious if you've been involved in the market lately all right so let's break it down um, where I feel like get my edge in this type of trading is having somewhat of a, an ability to project how I expect the current day's candle to close. So let's look at a few things here. Get my pin. All right, so the market did come rallying or came flushing down. We rallied to the daily 21 EMA and got stuff. We're back below this two-year point of control and starting to roll over. And I'll zoom in here, but this is a little pointer for you if you don't if you're unaware of this when price actually gets like this super tight consolidated there is a squeeze forming within here and so if you go, go down to the lower time frames you could kind of see a bullish or bearish consolidation pattern forming and look to play that in that direction so we'll, i'll sh talk about that here in a minute but it looks like it's forming a four hour bear flag at the moment but all that could change as well so before I go into breaking down all this information or the price action, what I'm looking at, let's look at the economic calendar today. There is nothing I could see that would prevent us from getting in a trade today. However, we can go to tomorrow. Um, the Canadians are having their CPI information come out. As far as USD goes, nothing. And then Wednesday is what, so the market might be a little choppy this week. Maybe, or it's going to price in a specific move, all for the FOMC statement. That's going to be the move of this week. Um, all eyes are going to be on this. Uh, anything FOMC inflation related moves the market. So, anyways, what I'm getting the reason I point this out is because price action might be choppy or unclear up until this comes out. But like I said, nothing today and a little bit tomorrow all right so now let's talk about today how do i anticipate today's price actually to go so today by looking at this i to be quite honest i only like the bearish scenario and i'll explain why the reason i only like the bearish scenario the bullish scenario is a little bit harder because the larger trend is down i'll change the color there and then we have came down to support we've rallied to the 21 ema and then we're starting to roll over this is like i said the four hour bear flag so it looks like right now it looks like buyers are coming at this place and if you need to know where this purple level is where i'm pulling it from all it is is price a price point where price action has respected it several times so um, it was support there became resistance support resistance uh, resistance support you can just see how price likes to bounce off this level a bajillion times and do something but that's where I've drawn that here in this kind of like an area I was expecting price to rally and this big old congestion level is right where price is bouncing off from right here so that being said that's where I got that and the reason I like the bear scenario is because it looks like a big far bear flag let's pull up my squeeze charts all right so when price gets congested like that you need to take a bigger picture so from a one hour time frame you see we came down to support we're rallying we're at it we're at the hourly 21 ema and the daily 200 sma let's take a little bit of a bigger picture go to the two hour All right, two hour. We do have a two hour squeeze that's three candles in to the short side, and it's right at the entry point for that squeeze to continue lower. And let me actually make this bigger. Glitching on me a little bit there. Not 
shown the histogram. But look at this here. Okay, so I drew a trend line from this point. And you see it hits here, kind of respect it there. So this is where I'm kind of expecting this bear flag to break down. So in the context of the two hour squeeze going negative, I'll pull up the four hour here in a minute. And there is a four hour squeeze and a two hour squeeze potentially firing. I am looking for this to potentially break down to the downside for, to, well, for today. That's the path of least resistance for today anyways. Now if I go over to the four hour chart, we are in a four hour squeeze. And if the two hour squeeze continues negative, then I'm looking for this, basically this bear flag to break out. But if I'm wrong, say price consolidates and if it, it will take a little bit more time. If FOMC says something the market likes and goes this way, then I'll play it that way. But right now it, it looks like the larger trend is down and it wants to go down that way. So <clears throat> now I've shown why I'm leaning to the downside. One last thing I want to show you. Okay, so here is my weekly point of controls. Go to the daily. All right, so we're below all of last night's price action. No surprise, came down here, oscillated, and now we're rallying back up. We're at the weekly VWAP and the daily 200 SMA. Here is the weekly profiles, and we're right at the weekly volume profile. I'll zoom in here. Okay, here's last week's volume profile, and that's right where we're at, and that's where we're price stocked. So last week, the most volume transacted right here at basically 39.50. So we we're up here on news, we flush below, short the resistance, take it back down, is how it's looking at the moment. And if you remember, um, in the context of the bear flag potential situation playing out, that will coincide with that and agree with that further down movement for today. All right, so well, let's, now that I gave you all that information, what do you do with it? Okay, so here are my quick hits charts. All right, 30 minute time frame closed on a doji. That's a reversal candle at key resistance. So this may actually start playing out before the market opens, but we'll see. So basically, so we came down to support, we rallied up into resistance, indecision candle, and now it's starting to look like it wants to roll back over. You know, indecision candle at resistance is a good place to enter. All right, now, moving over, making sure we have the whole picture here. All right, so remember, we gotta wait for the open. You don't have to rush it. And here I'm looking, this is how I'm looking to play those. So in the context of leaning, that I think the overall market, the bigger picture, path of least resistance is to the downside. All right, so if I am thinking that, this is how I look to trade it. So bear scenario, I'll cover that since that is uh, the way I'm leaning. So I would like these, the daily 8 EMA and 5 EMA and 200 SMA, this whole level right here where it's currently at, to hold as resistance. And then I would like it to hold as resistance. If it does, then that means this whole box right here will hold, right? And then it would flush lower. And... If, it, if it's above this level at the market open, I'm going to wait for a flush lower with dots and rotation signals right here for the move lower and keep an eye out for this level of support, which is down at 39.10. You get at least 40% of your position on that move there, right? But say it isn't above these key levels at the open. So the next bearish position potentially is say price flushes lower before the open, I would just look for a rally back into the VWAP at 30 May 21 EMA, get my rotation signals, and take it back down at that point. So either one works. Like I said, if it's already below it, uh, wait for the rally. If it's above it, look for the rotation signals to take it back down. Now what about the bullish scenario? I will be prepared for the other side, but it's a little bit more tricky, but I'm willing to play along. Price is going to have to get above 39.52, which is this whole level right here. So 39.52 will get us above the hourly 50 EMA, which is this blue line right here. So price will have to rally up through, pull back, and test this level of support. And then I would like to see trend rotation signals and then look to take it out as we come up to basically 39.70. 
from that move to that move, you could get about 40% of your spread as well. So we have to be quick on it. Market could be choppy and crazy heading into FOMC on Wednesday. All right. <clears throat> so quick recap. First, bear, first bearish scenario, like I mentioned, price gets stalled here at the daily 8 EMA and 5 EMA and daily 200 SMA. Price is above it. We start to get trend rotation signals and a good flush. I'll look to short the flush lower. Second scenario, bearish scenario. Say price is already um, was up here and then it's below the moving averages. We'll pretend that the moving averages are like right here and the VWAP is. And then I would look for a potential bounce into the 30 minute 21 EMA and then short it that way. That's the two bearish scenarios I like because it's below all the key levels, the squeeze and everything like that. Now about the bullish scenario, least likely, but be prepared for. Price gets above this level, right? Same concept. We get above these this key level of resistance. That I'm going to look for that resistance to become support, which is going to be right here. I like this level to be broken out of, and then just look to buy that dip, and then play it up to basically 39.70, and then you can get 40% of your spread that way, and 40% of your spread this way. So that's pretty much it. Be um, flexible today. Um, this week could be tricky, but most, more, most importantly, be patient and follow your trading plan and honor your risk. But that's all I have for y'all. Have a great day. Have a uh, sorry, start your week strong, <laughs> and we'll see what plays out. Have a great one, everyone, and I'll see y'all again tomorrow. Take care.